G'day guys, Dan here from oh, whichever business I'm trying to run at the moment, but uh, a few weeks ago on the Australian Chef Network and also Chef's Life, I put out a bit of a call for, uh, I guess, different injuries and ailments that chefs and hospital workers have. Uh, really interesting. What I got back from that was um, there's a lot of people out there that are you know, in pain. So. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I've been a chef for over 25 years, as well as uh, I've been a personal trainer for just on three years now as well, and I have a massive uh, interest in trying to help people within the hospitality industry um, that have had injuries and all that sort of stuff to have a little bit better quality of life um, because your back sore, because your neck sore, because your feet are sore. It's not meant to be like that, guys. You can do something about it. You have the power to change it. So I thought I'd just do a couple of little videos over the next few days or weeks. Sorry, my timeline does get a bit askew at times, but uh, to try and help some of you guys out. So um, won't keep you for too long. Some little toys, little torture ball. Um, this thing is absolutely brilliant for pressure pointing yourself. And I know automatically if you're watching this, you're thinking, what's this got to do with me? We'll get there in a second. There's its little brother, okay? This is a little lacrosse ball or physio ball. Now, all these things you can pick up for about 10 bucks on uh, eBay. Um, you might even find them you know, cheaper elsewhere. If you don't have one of these, if you're a Terry tight ass, you can always get yourself a um, golf ball, a little bit smaller, or you can get yourself a tennis ball and wrap it in about half a roll of uh, insulation tape, okay? And then you'd end up with a big black ball like that. So. All these things are good for pressure pointing around the body and in the videos that I'm going to do, you, you will see that. Today I'm actually going to be showing you guys, because um, I've got an overwhelming interest from people in regards to uh, forearms and carpal tunnel issues and shoulder issues, okay? So I thought I might tackle because chefs are on the fry pans, are on the knife all day long. So what I wanted to do today is just sort of tackle the forearm a little bit and show you guys how you can do a couple of really quick release drills on your forearm to help with carpal tunnel tightness through the forearms at the end of the day pain through the hands and swelling and discomfort okay so again you've got a couple more different rollers uh, that you can get your hands on you can get these in a kmart if you need to again they're about 10 15 dollars these ones here that my wife has for for her injuries um, or the injuries which she did have were perfect you know they're good for taking away you can put these in your locker at work, you can carry them in your bag, and especially this little bad boy here. Problem is for the forearm, it probably doesn't get in there. So I worked out a few years ago that everyone's favorite 45 centimeter cling wrap roll, as it gets towards the end there, is pretty much useless in most kitchens. This can be your best friend, okay? And I'm gonna show you how. I'm not gonna use that one, I'm gonna use the inside core of one. So there's two things you can do with this. Number one, you can run this under a bit of water. Don't soak it all the way through, just wet the outside, stick it in the freezer, okay? And then it's basically like putting a cold pack on your arm whilst you do this. Now, quick anatomy lesson. Carpal tunnel, as we know, you'll start to get that pain in through your hands there. The fingers will go a little bit numb. Generally speaking, it can be from overexertion and overwork through that actual nerve um, but it's a med what's called the median nerve and it can run all the way up here and actually starts at the neck So after I do a couple more of these videos, you're gonna sort of see how it all fits together Now one of the ways that you can help alleviate Some of the stress there is to release off these muscles that we have through our forearms Okay, so again, we're chopping all day long tossing the fry pans carrying stuff around Okay, so what I like to do with this one is we take our little uh, our little in insert I'm going to start with my palm down, okay, so I'm working through the muscles here, starting just behind the wrist, pressing down, and then leaning forward. And you'll see that I'm actually sitting down doing this, so you can be sitting back at the end of the day, having your knockoff drink, all right, and you can just roll through. What we're doing is we're actually releasing what's called the fascia. Um, I'm not going to give you guys an anatomy lesson, but... Just to say that the fascia is that, you know, it's like the uh, it's like the skin around the sausage, okay? It covers our whole body, and it's the first thing that reacts when we get stressed. Like all chefs and hospital workers, we get stressed. That's what tightens up, okay? So I'm just pushing through there, moderate amount of pressure. And then I'm going to come back onto the other side, and same thing. I'm going to start 
just here. I don't want to roll over the wrist, especially if you've got issues with the carpal um, and it, depending on where it's where it's flaring up through uh, whichever part of the, the eight uh, little bones that sort of sit through here. I want to sit just behind the wrist. So we're going to onto the wrist, all right, pushing down a little bit of pressure, rolling forward, okay? And you really want to try and get it into those muscles through here, okay? Um, this one is starting to get a little bit soft. I'm going to come back across that way. And if you start doing this on a regular basis, okay, you'll start to notice a massive difference in the way that your forearms feel at the end of the day. Combine that with, you know, getting some extra magnesium into your system. Um, and, you know, powdered magnesium, Cabot's magnesium is a really good one. Uh, I'm not a nutritionist. I probably shouldn't be saying, you know, go and buy magnesium and so forth. Go and speak to your GP or Google it. One of those doctors will tell you. Um, but magnesium is something that we need and it actually helps our muscles to relax. So, and it's also good for your sleep and it's good for your heart and it's good for your mental health. So, you know, have a look into that. Most chefs, as we know, don't have a reasonable diet, don't do much exercise. So, you know, this is just one quick way that you can just take a little bit of pressure off there. The other one is, if you're a little bit more adventurous, you can basically pressure point, starting just behind the elbow here, and the same thing, just putting pressure down there. But with this, we sort of just want to let it sit and just going to go into, that's fun. We're just going to go in small movements, okay? And you're going to feel the muscle and the tendon through there. If it's excruciating pain, then stop, okay? Uh, if you have any pain that refers up to the up to the neck, up through your shoulder, or if when you're doing this you get a pain running down into your fingers, best to go and see your doctor because you could have another form, another complication going on there. But I would say, I mean, I've had dozens of clients that I'll do this with. None of them, even though they've had uh, carpal tunnel issues, none of them have ever had you know major issues with this. So, just a surmise. Next time your cling wrap's running out. Don't throw it away, okay? Grab this little bad boy insert, wet it down a little bit, stick it in the freezer on the hot days. I'm gonna show you another video very soon on how you can use these on your feet to get rid of that pain through your Achilles and that sort of like clenching of the toes. Um, maybe, maybe if you're like me a few years ago, you probably have seizures in the morning through the feet where you can't actually put your feet down flat. I'm gonna show you how to get around that with one of those. So. Hope this has been of a little bit of assistance to some of you. If even one person gets uh, a little bit of relief from doing this, um, no, that's going to make my day. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for another video coming very soon from me. Thank you very much.